Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Riley, and in this video we are going to do something a little different. Actually, first of all, I want to welcome everyone to the channel. If you've never been to my uh, YouTube channel before, I would definitely appreciate it if you subscribe. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and then go ahead and hit that uh, bell notification so you can be notified of my upcoming videos that get released. I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel if you are new here, and if you are already subscribed, thank you for subscribing, and please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Also, one more thing I want to ask of all my subscribers is, if you like my channel, uh, please share my channel with other people, other people that are interested in shooting guns and motorcycles and outdoors and stuff like that. So. Please share my channel if you haven't already, and once again, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. So, this video format, as you probably could tell in the from the uh, length of the video, this is going to be more kind of like a vlog than a, a regular video. Now, I don't. The only kind of vlogs I do on this channel are motorcycle vlogs, but I want to start doing other kind of vlogs as well because um, I just want to try out this video format of doing vlogs um, because if you look at my previous YouTube videos you can see that most of my videos have been on average you know nine to ten minutes maybe most a lot of them way less than that so I think from now on I'm going to start doing videos that are more that are longer you know 20 30 minute videos that are more like a vlog um, so that's just how I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out for a couple months, see if the vlogs work, see if the subscribers like them, uh, which are you guys that are watching. So please leave a comment in the, in the uh, comment section that says, do you like these new style of videos? The vlogs, if yes, you know, let me know. If you don't, then let me know. And after a couple months, if it doesn't work out, I'll go back to my original style of videos. But if I like... If I like, if people like the vlogs, then I'll keep doing the vlogs. Um, from what I could tell, people kind of like the longer videos, the vlogs. So I might just keep doing that. It all depends on what you guys tell me. Now, um, let's go ahead and move on to the topic of this video. Oh, sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. One more thing: if you haven't seen the original review of this gun, the Ruger PC carbine. Um, if you have not seen it, go ahead and click on the description box and click on the link which will lead you to the original video that I posted. It's a like a 10 minute video or 8 minute video of the Ruger PC Carbine. My general thoughts and opinions about the Ruger PC Carbine. Uh, watch that if you haven't already and then go ahead and watch this video after. Now this video is an update slash round count update and a couple modifications I've done to this gun. So as you can tell if you've already seen my original video you can see that the um, in the, the original vi vi video sorry I can't talk right now. In the original video I had uh, the gun was completely stock uh, no accessories at all. Um, the only so what I've done is I've added a bipod to this uh, rifle, carbine, whatever you want to call it, and I've added a Bushnell scope to the carbine, um, both of which I think are very, uh, very good accessories to have on this type of carbine. You know, this carbine does have a 16-inch barrel, which does mean it. Um, you know, this 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 can reach. You know, you can hit, go out to 300 yards with this carbine, especially if you have a nice scope or optic on your on this carbine it can definitely reach out there obviously this isn't going to perform on the same level as a you know a real rifle you know like a 30 odd six or something like that this is a way another this is a whole different category and we'll talk about that later but this is um you know this is not the same thing as like a hunting rifle or like a long range rifle precision rifle you can call it so um i know people are going to ask so the bushnell scope that's on this carbine is there it's called the dawn and dusk scope i think that's what it's called you can get it for like 90 bucks on amazon 
Bushnell is, you know, a good company. They're not the best. Nothing like Chujicon or Vortex or anything like that. But Bushnell, actually, I take that back. Bushnell is pretty good. They make high end stuff. This is one of the low end scopes, so, um, you know, but whatever. It's $90 scope, so I can't complain. And it was, uh, I liked it a lot. So, also, I want to probably throw out there that we are um, probably going to throw a suppressor on this uh, carbine. And I think this thing would be so awesome with a suppressor on it. I would, I really can't wait to try that out and see how a suppressor works on this uh, PC carbine. So if you haven't seen the original video, and if you don't, if you're not going to click on it, I'm just going to tell you some specs about this one. Um, the PC carbine by Ruger is chambered in 9 millimeter. It takes Glock and Ruger SR9 mags. It breaks in half. What I mean by that is there's a little button you can hold down, and you can spin the barrel and take the barrel off of the gun. So it's an easy breakdown, takedown system on the gun. And yeah, it's a really, really cool barrel or gun. It's, the, this carbine has like you know what I would call a typical general look of a hunting rifle. You know, and a rifle. A lot of people mistake this gun for like a, a Ruger 10-22 plain, you know, 10-22 rifle because it kind of looks like that. Um, but uh, there was a guy on this when we were here shooting. I don't know if you can hear him on the video. But um, when we were shooting this gun, there's someone right next to us that was shooting a, I think it was a Ruger 1022. Anyways, it was all modded out and everything. But this this uh, Ruger PC9 or Ruger PC carbine was not much louder than the Ruger 1022. It sounded very similar actually. Um, so that's just pretty cool. So if you t if you put a suppressor on this. Carving, it would definitely uh, quiet, make it very quiet. Um, as you can see, it's got a fluted barrel, and uh, it's actually fairly lightweight of a uh, carbine. It's about the same weight as an AR-15, so not very heavy at all. Um, so as you can see from this video, most of the, uh, what we're doing here is we're just sighting in the scope. Um, I'm not exact, exactly sure why, but it took me a while to sight the scope in. Um, on all my other rifles and all my other setups, I usually could sight the scope in in like 10 rounds or less. But for some reason, it took me, took us about 50 rounds to sight this scope in fully before we could start hitting dead on. And the interesting thing is that. Um, it was kind of like um, we were only hitting like a little bit off. It wasn't very, it wasn't like super off. It was only like an in, half an inch to the right or half an inch to the left. So it was like very small modification or very small adjustments we had to make to the scope. Um, but it took us forever. Like like I said, usually I can sight in a scope in like ten rounds or less. But this one took me a while for some reason. Anyways, um, oh, I also wanted to mention, um, if you've liked my moto vlog, my motorcycle series of videos, um, if you like those, please comment and let me know if you like them, and I will, you know, I'm still going to keep doing them, but I kind of want some feedback on what I could do better about the moto motorcycle series. I know a lot of people were saying that I could uh, change the angle. They, they don't really like the angle that I'm filming at from with my camera for the motorcycle series, so I'll definitely take that into account and change that in the future. But it won't be for a while because um, it definitely won't be for a while because it's snowing and it's winter time and I don't really ride during the winter time, so probably not till like March or April. Is not that's probably when I'll start making those videos again, when I can actually ride. So um, I definitely do miss riding. Anyways, if you guys can see, I'm reloading my this magazine. It's just a Glock 17 magazine. 
um, with a speed loader, the Tula Up Lula speed loader. That thing's so nice. Um, if you don't have a speed loader for your, your guns, you should definitely get one. Um, I'm thinking about getting one for my AR-15 magazines because loading those things takes forever. So, um, yeah, guys, and I do hope you like and, and enjoy this type of video. Uh, it's called, like this this type of video, I guess, a vlog because I, I do enjoy doing these longer videos because it just means that I can talk about more stuff and I can, you know, get more knowledge out there to you guys, and I can just cover more topics, um, so I genu genuinely do enjoy, um, making these longer videos, it's a lot of fun, um, oh, just a quick shout out to this range, um, I am at the Armory in Sandy, Utah, so if you are close by, uh, if you live in Utah or the surrounding area, you know, wherever in Utah, check out the Armory in Sandy. It's a pretty cool range. Um, I like it a lot. There's another range that I always film at nearby called TNT. It's in Murray, Utah. And um, I really like that range. It's probably my favorite, but I live in Sandy, so I just went to this range. And it was snowing, so... Um, it was dark and snowing, so I didn't really want to go outside to sight in my rifle, so we ended up going to this range and sighting in the PC Carby. So, after about 10 minutes um, of adjustments and everything else, you can see that we finally got the uh, scope sighted in. And I'm letting Jesus, which is who's shooting the rifle now, or the carbine now, I'm letting him... Uh, know test it out and see how he likes it um, but yeah it's definitely a very very fun shooter and the cool thing is I mean I guess now we can kind of dive into this part of the uh, video so a lot of people a lot of people kind of uh, ask why you would want the piece of garbage dropped a bunch of tools. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, I like to put my laptop on this box and then knocked over a bunch of tools. Anyways, what I was saying was a lot of people kind of say, why do you need this? Like, honestly, it's not a hunting rifle. It's not a long distance precision rifle. Uh, like, honestly, why in the world would you need this? And simply, the, um, because I mean, you know, and it's not cheap either. If you look at the price of this, it's around five hundred dollars for the PC carbine. Um, if you want a hunting rifle, if you want a precision long range rifle, you can get a thirty odd six for about like four four hundred dollars, three fifty, easy, with the scope on it, like everything. I've seen Savage three thirty odd six rifles with nice scopes on it for like under four hundred dollars. So it's not like this is any cheaper than a real hunting rifle or a real high caliber long distance rifle. So this is definitely kind of a niche, niche um, carbine because um, the reason I call it that is because um, it kind of fits the uh, niche of uh, people that are looking for something that's compatible with their other weapon systems, but that's not too expensive. Um, so if you look at this, you know, obviously it shoots 9mm, so if you already have slash are buying a bunch of 9mm, um, then you don't have to worry about ammo, because let's face it, 9mm is a lot cheaper than 30 out 6 or 270 or whatever. Um, or 308 or whatever you're shooting. So, um, 762 by 54R, it's a lot, this is a lot cheaper. So, one of the big reasons, obviously, is because uh, 9mm is cheap, so why not have a carving chamber in what you already have in your pistols? Another huge benefit is it uses the same magazines as your Glock. This can use Glock. 17 Glock 19 Glock 26 magazines 
So why, you know, those are two huge benefits. So a lot of people are like, hey, why does, uh, you know, do I really, uh, do I really need this? And the answer is like, no, you don't. This is more, in my, in my opinion, this is more just for fun. This is a, this is a carving that you would get just to put, play around with. I'm not saying that it's not effective. I'm not saying that you can't use it for um, some kind of hunting or defense. All I'm saying is that this is what I would consider a just for fun type uh, weapon. Because, you know, obviously, I mean, 9mm, if you get a really, if you get like a 9mm plus P round or a hollow point going out of a 16 inch barrel, that's nothing to laugh at. It's still, you know, you can still kill things with that. So it's nothing to laugh at. But obviously it's not going to replace a 5.56, you know, or, or a 308 battle rifle. So, but in my opinion, I have this just more for fun clinking. So say you only have, say you just bought a bunch of rounds of 9 millimeter, and you don't have any rifle ammo, you know, you can take your Glock or your CZ, whatever, your 9mm handgun and then just throw this carbine in the range bag and you can shoot it at the same time and um, oh, wow. so that's that's kind of my philosophy of this uh, 9mm carbine is you know it's more for fun but here's the first kind of good thing we did that's that's absolutely out of the box with like zeroing the rifle in for the first time so it took us a while to get it dialed in, but we eventually did get the rifle dialed in um, so we could uh, get better grouping. And then eventually we started hitting it from the side. So, so again, I'm going to go on and uh, say, you know, Ruger PC carbine is definitely a very fun fucking tone, but the game is not necessary. It's not something you need. Could you use this for self-defense? Absolutely. If someone's, you know, breaking in to your house, you know, I would obviously have like a more short range setups on this. Um, you could use this for self-defense. Get some nice hollow point rounds, some plus P hollow point rounds set up in this uh, PC Harvey and this thing will pack a punch. Um, you could use this for long distance too, obviously. Um, you know, obviously in the range we are shooting at, in this, uh, at this range we're limited to 25 yards, but the next, next week or in two weeks from now, I will make a video of me shooting this Ruger PC carbine at 200, 300 plus yards, um, shooting steel, so you, you guys will hear everything. So, um... I'll make a video of me shooting this at like 300 yards and show you guys that this is a long range um, carbine as well. So, like I said, it's not going to take the place of your 308 or your 30 out 6 or your 270 or anything like that, but it's it's got its place, you know, that's all I'm saying. It's got its place, and it is very fun, and it's very cheap to shoot. And, um... This day on the range, we were shooting American Eagle brass, but I have run lots of steel ammo through this rifle, this carbine, um, and it eats that ammo just perfectly fine. Um, so don't worry about steel. This thing works perfectly fine with steel, so don't worry about that. Um, it does have a cold hammer forged barrel, so this I expect this to last a very long time. You know, cold hammer forged barrels are um, definitely a plus in my book. So this thing is pretty awesome. Um, and I'm just going to kind of wrap it up here. You know, this is just a simple review by an everyday Joe like you guys. I'm not paid. I'm literally not paid or promoted by anybody. Um, this is all my kind of private uh, reviews and research that I've done. Um, I'm not endorsed, paid, or promoted by anybody. All the guns that I review um, are either borrowed from other people or 
you know, my own guns or whatever. So um, I'm not affiliated with any other companies. So I make these videos simply to tell you guys what I think about these firearms and, you know, if they're worth your money or not. So basically, I'm going to tell you guys, it's, it's all, every video, it kind of comes down to this. And, um, every video simply comes down to this. Is this worth the money? You know, is it worth it? Would I buy it? First time gun. Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. Let me answer uh, that question for you in the last two minutes of this video. I would say yes, the Ruger PC carbine is a quality carbine. It is worth the money. I would buy it if I was. Now, to a couple other things. This is your first rifle slash carbine. I would not buy it. I would take an AR-15 over this as your first rifle carbine. Your first firearm altogether, I, I would say, I don't know, um, if, if you're not going to get a pistol, and you, I guess you don't want an AR-15, I don't see why you wouldn't, but lots of people, or maybe it's not legal to have an AR-15 where you are, then yeah, this is a good option. This is very good. Easy to learn on. Um, not lots of recoil. Very cheap ammo. You can practice with this thing all day without spending lots of ammo. Um, so very cheap, very inexpensive ammo. Um, so yeah, it would be a good first weapon if you really don't want a AR-15 or a pistol. Um, you know, some states you're not allowed to have AR-15s already or whatever, so this would be a good alternative to an AR-15 or something like that. I would buy this. Long story short, it's worth the money. It's a quality product made by a quality company, so I don't see why you wouldn't pull the trigger and buy this carbine. It's very cool. I would definitely um, you know, use this for camping or something like that. Throw this in your backpack and um, you know you could pull uh, you could pull this rifle apart or split it in half and then throw throw it in your backpack and go backpacking or whatever. Th um, leave, leave a like a uh, put a some plus, uh, plus P ammo, some hot loads in there, and use this for like self, you know, for protection at camp or whatever, you know. And this is very easy to shoot. I mean, you could get like a 10 year old kid to shoot this carbine, and they wouldn't have any problems with it. Thanks for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you watched the whole thing, and please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I will catch you guys next week, and we will have some more vlogs waiting for you guys. Yeah.